Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while again. I always disappear for a couple months before I come back with an update. Um, this time, as I put on the title, I just want again to do a little catch up update and share what I got so far for the next year, for the year of 2025. So as you can see here, I've been using the same thing. Um, I don't really love changing planners, although I do love trying them all. <laughs> if it's something, you know, that fits my interests and needs, but um, yeah, maybe I'm not <laughs> the channel where you're gonna get a lot of variation of products. Um, so yeah, here it is. I am with the Hobo Nichi Weeks. And I am with the plotter. I do have other things that come and go often, but nothing really worth sharing at this point. I don't want to cause any confusion, claim that I love something when I actually just grab the notebook for the pages just to write scribble on it and it's nothing serious. So uh, I just want to mention that because often there are other things laying around my desk, but it's nothing serious, you know, and <laughs> this is what I actually use and love. And I really want to share that because soon we'll be moving to the new ones. And I'm very excited. Actually, I'm very excited to share what I got. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, there'll be no surprise. I already posted it there. It's just that when I come here, it takes longer because I don't like editing. And I kind of want to make sure also when I come here to share things. Because uh, then, you know, I don't want to come back and say, hey, I changed my mind. <laughs> but anyways. Um, I've been using the Hoboni two weeks as a planner. I have another one that I use as my journal. I'm not going to go so in that on flipping through these pages because I did that on my previous video and I'll have a second video that I hope to film also this weekend and post which, um, in which I will share my fountain pens and my love for testing colors which is pretty new although you're gonna see here everything is written in majority of the time with blue but i've been loving to test out other tones but i mainly do that on my journal i do have another hobuni two weeks uh is it here yes this one i don't use it as a planner i use it more as a notebook because i got them last year last year it was a total mess for me because there were so many covers that I love and I couldn't really decide so I ended up ordering a bunch. Uh, I order with friends too so most of them got into new homes but I was stuck with three and I just used that as a notebook. It's nothing really you know serious. I just open it and I write on it because I've been using this one uh, as the main planner and as you know this one doesn't have a lot of notes pages on the back this is the regular week size i'm just repeating this because in case there is someone that is new to it but i know that the majority of people that watch me already know what hobo nature weeks is the pages that are but just to kind of uh, explain what my thought process was to get the new planners for next year basically this year i wanted a pretty cover that's what it is I didn't want those color blocks, although I have a lot of beautiful leather covers, but I, I don't know, I kind of wanted something very slim. Um, I've been reducing a lot the volume and weight of things that I put on my backpack, and I was just, you know, into just carrying this right here, or using this cover from Hobonichi. Sorry, the, it's, the light it will be a little weird, but maybe you could see... The true color like i've been talking to my friend deborah she thinks this cover is black to me this cover is like a dark blue like navy so i don't know yeah but this cover is pretty thin and i've been carrying my hobonichi weeks here and i like this cover because it has the space here for you to put you know pens or stickers ruler whatever you want and it's so light it doesn't add at all and if you want to go really slim, you don't need to carry a pencil case. You just put your cover and your writing tools in here. So this was what I've been doing this year in terms of what I carry with me every day to work. 
and because of that i wanted a slim cover but you know the regular weeks uh come in various designs beautiful covers but the mega not really so i thought in the beginning of the year i'm just gonna get a regular one with a cover that i can customize i kind of like this um what is the name of the artist uh, i don't know but those it looks like a canva to me you know and then i just put a bunch of stickers and i will use this as a planner and i won't bother that it doesn't have the pages i'll just add a notebook and use as my notes um we are now in october and i can tell you that i didn't like it at all because then i was always carrying two often i didn't like there were two i didn't really got into using a Hobony Tweak size notebook like the Planner Monkey Co. has or Sterling Ink has. I have those, I like them. The paper is amazing, but I didn't like carrying two books. So I also tested using those little notebooks from Hobonichi. I don't have here, is it here? Yeah, carrying those, but I also didn't like because it's just like 20 pages and you go through a lot of them. This is my third of the year. So then I have to-dos from work in various little notebooks. I also didn't like that. So I, I think in my previous videos, I said that I would be extremely happy if Hobonichi would come with the uh, Mega with design covers. Obviously I could get the Mega with just one cover and accessorize it and put stickers and it all, but you know, sometimes I just want things to be done. I'm not a person who likes to set up things, customize things. I'm not that artistic or not artistic at all. Often I look at things and I think I could do it. And then, then I do it and I'm like, oh, so ugly. <laughs> I don't like it. So I was like, can it be done already? Like, I don't mind paying for the product. This planner is true compared to something you can get out of Staples or Walmart. They are more expensive but they're not super expensive like they won't be more than 40 dollars um so i was like can i get it ready to go already beautiful with a lot of pages on the back that i can use and this is what happened this year so this beautiful planner that i've been using for so many years i don't even know how many years how many years i think next year will be the seventh year or six sixth year whatever uh, I've been loving it. It's so nice. It's so small, portable. I already know where I want to put things and how because I've been using for so long. And I thought this year that I would move on. And I think I was talking about it on one of my previous videos. Like, I've done it. You know, I've done it. I can move on and do something else because I wasn't actually enjoying as much. Because I decided to go with a smaller one didn't have the notes pages cre i created this issue for me because i wanted a pretty cover so if you want to learn by other people's mistakes i can tell you don't do that it's like i mean i love my cover okay it's gorgeous with my stickers but it created another issue that often i was like this is not it i don't want this planner i want another one and well i need to get over it but i didn't have to because for the next year, I'm going to finally have Mega in the bow tie cover. So not all the designs, but some of them. So here's what I got. I will already show. Well, I will remove from the plastic. Sorry for the noise. Um, Ta-da! So this is the cherry cover. Is in this kind of bright blue, I would say. It's not exactly my favorite tone of blue, which is towards the navy or baby powder blue but i i like it i like it i think it's very happy it's a very happy cover cute cover um so uh, yeah i love it and it's a mega so i'm extremely satisfied that all the years that i spent writing on that survey hobonichi please could you make hobonichi mix mega with pretty covers i did it every year Thank you for all of you who did it as well. <laughs> um, so this year, yeah, they had in cherry, they had the sushi and they had, no, they have the sushi? Yes, yes, sushi and snake. All in bow tie, bow tie because it's like this tie fabric. 
um yeah so this is what i i'm gonna use for my planner for 2025 and i'm gonna jump in as soon as i can which is it's the last week of november normally i stay a little bit on both of them for december before i move because i have a hard time letting go of you know a complete book that i spend the entire year in but this year i'm just like oh yeah i'm ready let's go yeah 25th it's on a sunday which is great like this week again it's like end of november end of uh, yeah end of november and you have december and we go so i'm very excited to have all the pages in one place i can write whatever i want on the back it's not necessarily for like daily to do's often i do my daily to do's on a sticky note if i'm at work i have a notebook at work that i take with me for meetings so sometimes my to-do list are there like this it's easier for me to track what is done but I like to write and I like to write about everything and anything. Often I just have thoughts and I want my thoughts on paper because I enjoy like holding a pen and writing. Sometimes it's just like, oh, next time I go to Brazil, I want to do this and that. Or it could be like, oh, wow, this pen is so nice. <laughs> my handwriting is crap. Things like that. I don't know. Anything that is in my mind. Um, I am... A chatty person at work uh, luckily I work with people that I like but it's really fun uh, but often I have to concentrate so that I can write <laughs> uh, manuscripts and reports and things like that that we do for work so I'm often listening to like podcasts in English so that my brain doesn't switch much back to Portuguese this is a way I don't know I just I like it some people don't like it but I do and so often I have other things going on when I'm listening to things and I want to write it down so I just put it on pages like ideas or or I listening I'm listening to something and I feel like oh this is a nice way of saying that and I want to hold that and not forget I would write on, the, on my notes pages so it's not commonplace it's not whatever you want to classify it it's, it's it's just writing it's just writing um I enjoy writing that's it I don't do drawing much I'm not that talented, but it's just to write a bunch of things. Could be to-do lists, could be just the, you know, brain dump, whatever. Um, but I really need my pages back. And I'm happy. And I'm super happy about this one. I think it will look great. I do think I will go back to use leather covers, though. I miss them. I have a big collection. But... Uh, I kind of have new ideas since I am a little bit open to have more colors. Not as much. Uh, it's not like I'm going to get pink stuff. But I can mix some things with blue. Like here we have the red that I actually like. The white. The green. I've been loving green lately. Which is not what I like at all. But I like green brown. I love brown too. So yeah. This is the planner. And this is this one that I'm going to be using now for October, a bit of November, and then goodbye. We're going to move into another one. Then we have this one that I've been using as a journal, and I absolutely love. Uh, check my previous video to, you know, see how I've been using it. Um, I, I have a lot of photos, so I don't really want to show pictures of family or anything. I can show like that. So you see, like, I use a bunch of fountain pen stickers i do some watercolor of hobonichi covers i think this is the only uh occurrence of drawings so i put like washi tapes cards and things sorry i'm just choosing the pages uh so you see this is how i use them and i think you probably saw i do this way to track my inks but i'll talk about this when i have my video about my fountain pen inks but this has been really like fun way of memory keeping and i'll i'll keep doing this and so to substitute this one i was very happy that hobonichi brought again uh, covers with the illustrations from the same artist sorry for the noise of the plastic again here it is so this time is this globe with cherry blossoms and here there are some cherry blossom petals I really love it. So I'll be doing the same. Um, I think it's 
nice to have a smaller book compared to what I used before. Before I had the Traveler's Company um, standard size in a weekly and also like grid notebooks just to be writing a bit more but it became a bit too much it became like a chore to me so as soon as I am not enjoying as much and I feel like it's too much work I I'm like okay that that's not it so because I really like the Hobonichi weeks I thought maybe I should do on the notebook size paper that I prefer and I like that I did this move it's a small um uh how do we call this it's a small page and layout sorry it's a small layout so it's not like i have to spend a lot of time to fill it up you can leave blanks but i just don't like it i like to use it all uh, i think there is so much to life that i could write that often i'm like is it really blank why often when i don't write as much maybe i wasn't feeling as good on that week or i was just super busy didn't have the time but because this is a memory keeper I really want to put the effort in coming and writing something because I just want to register what we did as a family. Even if it was like, we rested this weekend, we watched a movie, we ate pizza together. I'm so grateful for them. Th those are the type of things I write often. I also write little, little notes for them in case one day ever they open a random page. I There will be little words, uh, you know, love words for me. Uh, from me to my family and I I really I, I think as a way of me to express gratitude for having them in my life and uh, I really like it and having a little one doesn't take me too much of my time doing it because I've been spending a lot more of time with people which is um, different from what I've been doing in the past years I think everybody right with um, all the working from home that we have, you know, being away from people uh, during the pandemic years. Now I've been just going back to getting together with friends, with family, enjoying time outside. Uh, not necessarily being outside of my home, but being outside of my bubble. This is what I mean. And this has been really nice. I am not spending as much time alone on my desk. Uh, which sometimes I miss because I'm an introvert and I do like to sit with myself. Um, but I do this from time to time when I feel needed. And this is when I journal. I don't journal every day. I don't journal sometimes even every week. Sometimes I have to catch up. And it's fun. So having a smaller book also uh, accommodate how much of the time I want to give to it. So this is a reflection that I did. And if you're thinking about it, I yeah this is my advice to you maybe think of how much time you want to allocate for several things not only to your journal but whatever activity you want to give more of your time all the activities you want you don't want really to give that much time to just you know prioritize but i'm happy and this is a cute cover so this journal will be substituted by this one and then here is the plotter this is the plotter mini um i think for uh i'm not Sorry for the noise, I just want to have a sit here. Hopefully the volume is still good because I'm a bit far now from my phone. So the Plotter Mini 6 is also the same size as a pocket size, let's say. It's just because I think Japan brands call it the Mini 6. Six, like six rings. Um, this is what they have here. Uh, I got this a couple of years ago from Plotter, actually. It was a, a small collaboration. We had let's say and i absolutely love it i think the size is perfect i didn't use my bible which it corresponds to personal size as much this year like not at all um it's a great size i love it but i really like the plotter so why did i use it for it was mainly like occasions where i didn't need to carry my planner or i didn't want it to have i mean both of them are small but the weeks is a bit bigger when I wanted even to go a little bit smaller, like to a point where I would have the planner, a wallet, and little things on my belt bag or on the little crossbody that it would fit, I would change to the plotter. And this would be like weekends uh, when I would spend the day out or trips. 
or errands, things like that. So this is when I use it. So I use a lot during the summer. I had a great summer this year. I went to visit my family in Brazil after I travel within Canada too. Um, so I've been using this a lot actually. Now, not so much. So see the pages would get a bit um, not so filled. What I have here is essentially plotter inserts for the monthly. Um, I just like put some of the appointments that I have in case I am outside and I got a call or I talked to someone and I just need to know where I am at this day. So it's not very detailed, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's just like the main thing. Um, often I will put the weekly from Blotter too, but right now what I have here is the Moleskin daily. So what I did, I bought the pocket daily and I cut the pages down. That was really exhausting to do, I'm gonna be very honest. Um, but I enjoy having the dated pages. So this is something for me that is important, is I like everything to be set and ready for me. I don't like to be dating things. Uh, I don't like to set up the layout like bullet journal i love the concept i love the idea i watch a bunch of like videos about it but i don't do it because i don't like making things um so yeah having the daily pages was really what i needed especially when i was travel like this i could have list of things that i needed to do or just like writing a little bit of what happened that i could journal later when i would get home i only took this when I went to Brazil and together with the photos uh, that I took with my phone, I just printed with my sprocket. Where is it? Here. I just printed, I opened and I read what we did on certain days and that was it. And I could just like, you know, write on my journal, this journal here, and it was done. I didn't carry much with me. Uh, the previous years, I had I took so much stuff that I ended up not using, because I when I travel often, although I do rest and I have times that I could journal, but I just chose not to. I just prefer to sit and talk to my parents, to my cousins, to my friends, or walk. And you know, it's again that thing of prioritizing what you want want to do with your time. So I really enjoy it, although I did not enjoy cutting the page. Maybe I didn't do the best way. <laughs> um, uh, so it was exhausting. So I don't know if for next year I would do that, although I really like it. I use basically gel pen in here, so I don't mind the paper. I know that there is uh, some inconsistency with the Moleskine paper. Some of them are really good quality and you can use with fountain pens how they're done, but I don't use fountain pens in here never because I just put whatever pen would fit here on this pen loop. So it's the Uniball one with either a Muji refill or a needle point. I think I have a needle point right now. Yeah, from Pentel. So it's all right, whatever the the paper Moleskin has, it's not gonna bother me. Also. It's just like quick notes during the day. I think I, when I had COVID, when I was sick this summer, I was, maybe I already removed the pages from here. Yeah, I did, because September I had it, it was July. Um, but something like this, I was tracking like if I was drinking water, taking my medication and doing it all because I was very tired and I lost track of like gargling for my uh, throat. I lost, I, I I wasn't really counting how many times I did everything, so I was just tracking it here, so it was really handy too. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. But what I got, I, I got, so I got the, the 2025 I, uh, monthly. I ended up also getting the weekly in case I needed the weekly, because often what happens, I'm like, when all the lunches come, I'm like, I'm just going to buy what I think I need, you know, because I'm cool. I don't need all the stuff, I don't need to spend all the money, and then I buy just the monthly. And then the months pass and I'm like, I wish I had the weekly, but these inserts, they sell out. And after it's really difficult to get them, I think last, last for this year, it was hard 
uh, I couldn't find them anywhere and I ended up asking Nora from Dr. Alva Plants to help me and she got, I bought from US and then she shipped to me. It was like really complicated. So I already bought them. I got them from Amazon Japan because I had other things I wanted from Amazon Japan. Uh, so I got it from there. I also got this paper from Knox, which is a blue paper. Uh, in case I need other notes and things like this. They don't cost a lot. I think like each of these packs would be like around $7. So it's really cheap. And then because it was on the Amazon Japan site, I also get, got a new band uh, for this one. This one is all black. This one is red and blue. And yeah, as I was thinking about this, because this kind of blue red as well. So yeah, this is what I have here. Uh, I still don't know if I will cut the pocket moleskin or not. Maybe I'll get one on Amazon, take it to Staples and see if they can at least trim the spine of the book for me. And after I just trim it to size. Um, but I'm thinking. Uh, what else did I get? I also got this ruled insert and I was thinking was like, can I just tempt the date? And use I think I have a paper where I test them yeah here so here I was testing the stamps oh, let's put this way can you see it so I was just using like several of my highlighters actually this is not like ink pads this is highlighter because then you won't okay I kind of put a bunch of things on the other side but it won't like bleed or ghost too much to the other side the plotter paper is fountain pen friendly so it's pretty okay with most of the inks you use. So I was thinking either like use this stamp and then, well, because I have so many things, I'm like, can I also track the weather <laughs> and other things with my little stamps? Uh, so I'll see how it's gonna go. I'll try not to get the moleskin because I already have this, but I'll see, I'll try it out. And if I feel like I need it, the data pages, that's it. Then I will see if I buy it or if anyone is stashing and things like this. Um, yeah, so talking about the stamps, I also got this. It's like this little cats. And I thought of using it as my mood tracker. I'm such a cat lady now. Now I have two cats. I had Oreo already and we also adopted sushi. Um, so I thought of using this as a mood tracker either here or on my journal, I'll see, I don't know, I just thought it was cute, I look at it, it makes me smile, so like, yeah, I want it, so this all came from Amazon Japan, and this is how I'll be using the plotter, uh, I didn't mention for the Hobonichi, but I actually got my Hobonichis from Wonder Pens, I decided to go with the local shop, because I didn't have as much to order from Hobonichi um, in Japan, and the last year and the previous one there was a lot of traffic on the website and i'm like ah it's all right you know i'm just gonna get it from here uh the shipping i mean there is a difference in price for sure like you pay a bit more if you buy local because of the you know shipping to get here taxes and all that but i'm like i, I don't want to go through um through it all if i don't have any Hobonichi exclusives that I want again. So I just ordered from Wonder Pants and it arrived pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, um, I think I'll still be doing that for the next years if the local shops have it. Apart from Wonder Pants, if you are in Canada, you can also get from Paper Pearl Plus Cloth. They also have it. Uh, and, you know, it was an easier option to me. I wish some of the shops in Montreal would have it, but they don't, <laughs> but that's all right. Okay, so this is what I got from next year. What is not here that I might be using will be something for work, which I don't know exactly what it is yet. So that's why it's not here and I'm not sharing, but if ever I get a specific planner that I will leave in the lab, I will share with you. I have a couple of things in mind but as always, I would test first before I get here and I claim that I love it, that is it, you know. I I like to test things first before I share. But this is what I got from next year. I am really excited to be using my 
new planners uh also to set up my plotter for next year i have this here sorry let me show that this is my one of my two million pencil pouches i don't know if you are like this but i have a lot of pencil pouches and this is the pin that i got uh, milk tea and co in toronto and it's so beautiful i really like it um i often change what pens i'm using but those are the ones that i carry right now so i have a sailor um twisby mini i will not be using this for now i'll have to remove from here the vanishing point and then i had the muji pentarona gel the hobonichi pen and uh pencil but this is also an option of a very small Pencil case, this is the Eurolico uh, pencil case, the tiny one that you can carry. There's a big one too, I just don't know where mine is. But this is what I've been carrying this week because I'm not on the Trigon cover. But yeah, this is what I use every day and the planners that I got for next year. So basically the same, still loving them, very much excited. And I hope you enjoyed this chatty video. <laughs> and I'll have another one. I'll share my fountain pen collection, uh, some of my favorite inks, how I catalog them, because it's kind of a lot right now. And often I need to be able to see what I want to use, what do I have so that I don't buy, you know, duplicates and everything. So hopefully I'll film this as well and post for you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Very curious to see what everybody is using. Thanks for all of you who post videos. I've been watching them. Thanks for everybody who check on me and send me messages asking how I'm doing, if I'm going to share things. Uh, I appreciate that as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.